Can you share with us a little bit about all the numbers in regards to the associations and those involved that uh, that equates to and it integrates in terms with the MYBA? Yeah, well, first of all, I'd like to say that the Minnesota Youth Basketball Alliance, it was again uh, launched in 2020. We really saw how important it was when we had a pause in youth sports in November of 2020 because of the COVID pandemic. The task force, the board of advisors of the MYBA, MYAS came together and they were able to create a return to participation um, manual. They were able to establish guidelines for youth basketball specifically with the help of MDH along with our partner U.S. Council for Athletes Health. And on January 6th, there were over 200 people on a virtual call and we all came together, we streamlined the process, and by January 15th, the kids were participating in youth basketball again. That is a, a microcosm of what the MYBA is. So to answer your question, there are just over 160 associations that participate or are members of the Minnesota Youth Basketball Alliance. And that is a, a lot of associations from around the state, and, and the majority of them um, there are still some associations that are three hours or more from the metropolitan area that are not currently participating um, because of they don't have that connection as much. But we're going to continue to push this on having this ability to be so connected and, again, enhancing the community-based experience for youth basketball. That is the most important thing that we at the MOS are, are facilitating in conjunction with the MYAS, MYBA Board of Advisors that are leaders of associations around the state that are listening to all the leaders around the state to make decisions that are in the best interest of everybody, that are going to help everybody in each association to, again, keep community-based programming alive within the winter season. 